Hello, and welcome to today's video. For today, we're going to be discussing the topic about the Battle of Gettysburg. On July 1st, 1863, the Battle of Gettysburg was started when Confederate soldiers that were sent out to get supplies were spied by General John Buford's cavalry. After the encounter, both the Union and Confederate armies requested reinforcements. Every nerve unit in the area responded to the call. Both the Union and Confederate reinforcements arrived and started colliding at Gettysburg. At first, the Confederates were the first to receive reinforcements and pushed the Union troops back through Gettysburg until the Union's reinforcements arrived and after receiving the reinforcements, General Winefield Scott rallied his troops to defend the positions at Culp's Hill and at Cemetery Hill. The very next day, July 2nd, 1863, the armies continued to receive reinforcements the previous night before and now, the Confederates had 65,000 troops, which now had to face a force of 85,000 Yanks. The Union lines along Cemetery Ridge was shaped like a fish hook that overlooked the Union positions. With Culp's Hill and Cemetery Hill on the right, and both Little and Big Round Top on the left side, Lee wanted both Big and Little Round Top taken. He decided to launch an assault on Culp's Hill and both big and little round top. The Confederate Army swept forward. The 15th Alabama scrambled up big round top. General Longstreet's army went around the Union's left flank, while General Daniel Sickles was pinned down in the peach orchard and only had a handful of men that held round, little round top. General Warden immediately sent reinforcements under the command of Colonel Chamberlain. Chamberlain ordered all of his men to hold their positions at all costs. As the Confederates charged up the hill, the Union soldiers fired at the 85th Alabama as they regrouped and started to slowly gain ground. As they slowly threatened to slip around the left flank, Chamberlain had held his ground. Soon after, ordered a charge to attack the Confederates, and soon they were in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And in less than an hour and a half, some supposedly 40,000 rounds were fired on the slope of Little Round Top. After the first charge down the hill, Chamberlain thought the hill was being retaken, and he ordered his men to remount their bayonets once again. When they charged the unsuspecting rebels, the rebels fled. But Chamberlain's B Company was hidden behind a stone wall and had started to fire on the retreating Confederate troops. After a surprise charge, Chamberlain was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. At the Peach Orchards, shells were raining down on the Union troops as Alexander, the man in charge of Longstreet's artillery, were throwing shells at the Union troops. As the sun set, the Union's left and right flanks held out. On the third day, July 3rd, 1863, Lee was not successful in capturing Culp's Hill and was forced to retreat. And the Union cavalry had stopped General Stuart from attacking the rear. General Custard, which you might have heard from the Battle of Little Bighorn, had led a series of headlong charges, and thanks to these charges by Custard, everything now depended on Longstreet's assault, which had failed, and by the Battle of Gettysburg ended at Pickett's charge, which resulted in a lot of casualties. And after the charge failed, the Confederate troops retreated back towards the south. In the end, the Confederates ended up losing 28,000 men that which were killed at the Battle of Gettysburg which was more than a third of Lee's army, while the Yanks only lost 23,000 soldiers, with 5,365 Union soldiers missing, and the Confederates had 5,425 missing soldiers, resulting in 33,365 Union soldiers missing, wounded, or killed and the Confederates had 33,425 missing, wounded, or killed, which resulted in 66,790 soldiers missing, killed, or wounded. With the amount of casualties at the Battle of Gettysburg, the dead, dead littered the ground in some areas of the battlefield. Abraham Lincoln gave a short speech called the Gettysburg Address, which was meant to honor those who had fallen, during the battle and to tell people to fight for those who have fallen. 
after that, the building of the Gaysburg Battlefield Cemetery and the Gaysburg Address. In 1895, the Gaysburg National Park was built and Civil War veterans oversaw the construction of the park and the monument in memory of both armies that have fallen on the battlefield of Gaysburg. I hope that you guys found this information helpful and I hope that you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next video. Until then, catch you later. The eggs were taken by surprise to walking sleep from their eyes. Old Johnny Red, they caught them with their guns down.